Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Brick and today we will compare speed test between these two devices. On the left side is Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Exynos 1 and on the right side is Xiaomi Mi 10 T Lite. I will quickly put them up at the same time and we will see which one is faster at boot up 3 to 1. Go! And also guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, it will be, you know, already amazing. Let's give them a couple of seconds so we can see which one is faster and after that I will clean them, give them some proper covers and we will start some speed test. And the first one is Note 20 Ultra. And really, really behind is this Mi 10 T Lite in terms of boot up. And here we go. So guys, let's check that everything is closed in the background on both of these two devices. It is, and we can start right now with the phone dialer. A lot faster on Note 20 Ultra. Messages, again, a lot faster. Play Store. Slightly faster, let's go with YouTube. Slightly faster again. Let's go with the settings. A lot faster. Facebook. Yeah. No 20 will try again win that. Let's go with WhatsApp. Not that bad, not that bad. Xiaomi is close right now, Viber. Again, close. Instagram. This was also close, but these are apps. They really need to be closed because they are not that hard to open, which there is a bigger difference here. Snapchat. Close again. Let's go with the Jetpack Joyride for the game of this test. And right now you can see a bigger difference between them. Let's go back. We have PUBG Mobile. And you can see Note 20 Ultra just finished right now. And slightly behind is this Mi 10 T Lite, which is not a big deal, guys. Let's go with Angry Birds 2 right now. Yeah, this time a lot of the difference. Yeah much faster on this Note 20 Ultra. But guys, also you need to understand that they need, there is need to be a big difference between them because there is Exynos 990 in this chipset. So it's like a Snapdragon 865, you know, a flagship chipset from the last year compared to mid-range mid one, which is also not bad, but must be slower. Let's go with Templar Run 2. Just behind this mid and tail light is among us. Yeah, slightly behind, really just slightly behind, nothing too big. Color switch. Slightly faster this Note 20 Ultra. And right now we have this 3D Mark test where you will find out how strong your device in terms of graphic performance. Let's uh, let just do that and wait for the results, guys.
and here are the results. I need to rotate this node 20 volt for every single time, but nobody cares. Let's see 26.6 frames per second average on this node 20 ultra Exynos one, and we have 6.7 frames per second on this medium T light 5G. So basically, that means that you know. This Note 20 Ultra will do a lot better in gaming. It's not every time like that, but you can see how strong your um, graphic performance, how strong your uh, device is in terms of graphic performance by this test. So that's pretty much it. Let's go back and try to reopen apps from the background and see how they, uh, how they, you know, uh, work with that. You can see which one reloaded and which one didn't. So basically you are the judge here. No, I don't want that. Let's go with settings. You are the judge here. Let's go with Facebook. And which one is quicker when you need to, uh, when you need that app to open from the background. That's also, uh, what you want from the device if you really multitask and if you want a fast phone also you really multitask that's that's my opinion and that i think you're doing if you need a really really fast device maybe you switching from a lot of apps instagram you know editing some videos who knows but if you know if you maybe if you're just playing games then you just hop in one game and play but Basically, when you reopen a lot of apps for some business, uh, you know, requirements, you can see which one will do that better and which one will keep that in the background. Angry Birds 2, Subway Surface. This one is this one, no 20 Ultra, is comes with 8 gigabits of RAM, so basically, he doesn't even need to do really great job because we have even um, you know version of 12 gigabyte which is much better than this 8 gigabyte among us now let's go back color switch and the last app is 3d mark wildlife test which is open it on both of them so basically guys that's pretty much it Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in next video. Peace.